Hey guys, Andy42 here and today I'm going to show you the devices map. So some of you may think the SIGA is not really a device, but it implements some functionality to toggle it on and off. So technically maybe it's kind of a device, but let's throw it away and make some pictures here. So this camera here can be used to create pictures and you can switch between the front camera and the back facing camera. I'm just not having a pawn here, so I don't see myself, but of course you can add your own pawn. And in this case you will see yourself and can create beautiful selfies with the camera. And if I take a picture, so let's let's do it quickly here. With the trigger I can create pictures and they will be stored here in my library. And with the pictures I have different possibilities, so I can click on them, so they will be enlarged. I can print them, in this case I will really have a 3D object, I can also scale up and uh, tag to my walls, or I can just delete them and don't uh, forget to export them if you want to save them. A lot of people asked us how we created the pointer, so we decided to integrate them. We used them a lot in our previous tutorials. So now you can have a look at it. It's just using blend spaces and it's a skeletal mesh. For the pen, you may notice if it's closed, so if a cap is on there, you are not able to draw. And if you put it off, you can draw and you can also change the size of the tip with the touchpad or the thumb button. So I can paint like really big or make this really small. And here I can change the color. This is also just procedural. You can just define any color you want in there. And the paint will get this color and also the pencil will draw on this color later on. So just playing around with different colors here a little bit. You can also see we have a nice removing effect. So it's trying to mimic real whiteboard eraser mechanics. Let's talk a little bit about the 3D pens. Because of course you can paint in 3D, but the cool thing is, this is really an actor you're creating there. So you can assign custom materials and you can also integrate all the different mechanics we have for our other actors. So for example, you can integrate an interface to select the materials after painting it. Um, in this example, we have integrated interface that we are able to grab this. And you can really basically add everything you want there and create some very cool paintings and effects with this. The next tool is for measurement. So we have two different modes here. The laser is telling you how far away something is if you point at it. You may notice the number here is very large. That's because I'm on a German keyboard and they don't match the type here. So the other mode is you can press the trigger. In this case, you will spawn a little marker and you can drag another one out to get the distance between both markers. And if you get close to an already existing marker here, you can see it snaps and you can pull out a new marker out of it. So that's pretty cool. Also, these markers are grabbable. So I can really, let's get rid of this. I can go in there and grab them, move them around. They have a snapping anchor, so they snap to surfaces. And I can just move them wherever I want them to be. So the next example is the keyboard. This would be better with the laser, but you can attach it to the screen here and in this case the keyboard is now talking with the screen and you can type in whatever you want. We're using the basic web browser from Unreal here. For this example there's the numpad and once it is attached we can enter a security code and if we enter the right one we will be granted access and if not the door will be closed. So if we're entering the right one and press enter, you can see the door is opened. And if we enter the wrong code, you can see just a red flash lighting and nothing happens. So here's an object dropper where you can spawn objects 
And you can also integrate this to something like your smartwatch. This way we, you can spawn objects from there. And I will be back in the next map. See you there.